Have you ever said something in life and then for life to turn around and slap you in the face? I think it's gonna be a cold night, but that's okay. I got the heater in the van. I've got no electricity. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I'll have some nice, good, heartwarming food on the go. I can't lie to you, this does not smell nice. Not changing at all apart from burning the bottom of my pan. It literally smells like dog food. So we shouldn't have too many problems. I've got no heater. I've got no gas. You're joking. Why every time I come out in the van and film something, something goes Anyway, in today's stealth camping mission, I take my homemade camper van to one of the UK's 95 service stations dotted around the country. A place where thousands of motorists stop to refuel their vehicles with the world's most expensive and overpriced non-affordable fuel on the market. I've got nothing left. Man, woman and child come to empty their bladders and fill their stomachs with fast food galore and lorry drivers come to rest their eyes for the night. It's safe to say that in today's video, things didn't quite go to plan. God, the gas might not have ignited but I just have. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome home. We are officially at Fleet Service Station. Now, there's a bit of a problem with coming to a place like this is the fact that I can't really do a massive recce because once I'm in, I can't go round and back round. I'll then have to come back on the motorway. So I'm gonna pick a spot nice and early and just stick to it. So once I'm parked somewhere, it means that is home for the night for the rest of the evening. So I better make sure that I pick well. Oh God, I'm already seeing warning signs. Let me show you exactly where we are. So I've just had a bit of a scout around outside just to see what's going on and just to show you guys exactly where I'm parked. I am pretty much in the entrance of the service station. The one I'm at now, as I've already said a couple of times, is called Fleet Services. It's on the M3, I believe, and uh, it's quite a big one. I'm not sure if where I've parked is the best place because I've tried to tuck myself away slightly covered by some trees, but right behind me over there I have the motorway which as you'll be able to hear, is very noisy. So I may end up actually moving the van somewhere else just to get a bit of a quieter night's sleep. Around me to my left, you actually have some Tesla charging stations. On the opposite end of the service station, there is actually a Starbucks drive through which I've never seen before. I thought that was an American thing, but clearly not. And there's also a Days Inn. No idea what that is. I think it's just a hotel of some sort. <laughs> Before we go and check out a little bit more what's going on inside the services and just scope out the area a little bit more, I got a very, very exciting email from today's video sponsor whilst I was driving here. So today's video sponsor is MyHeritage. They are the number one family and history DNA service all across Europe. It was super quick and easy to do. It was literally a simple cheek swab. <laughs> Package it all up and then you send it back to MyHeritage. I'm almost 99.9% .9 certain and it's just gonna say I'm bog standard British or English, which is not a problem at all, but as I said, I would like a bit of spice in my life. Maybe a bit of Italian, a bit of mamma che cazzo, arrivederci. Maybe a bit of Spanish. Hola, mi amo, William. Or maybe even a bit of French. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Let's open this email for the very first time and view my DNA results. Go on, please don't just be English. Please have something in me. <laughs> what the hell? What? Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm not just English, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a little bit more spice in my life. So it's saying here I'm 62.6% .6 English with three genetic groups, 19.3% Scandinavian, hey? Hey, how are you? 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 Hey, how are you?
nice bum. 18.1% Irish, Scottish, and Welsh. Unfortunately, no Italian, no French, but Scandinavian, I will take that. My dad is gonna absolutely love this when I tell him. He thinks we're German, but clearly, from my heritage DNA test, I'm not. I've got to say a massive plus about my heritage is they actually cover more regions than any other DNA test. And an even bigger bonus is they're also really committed to their privacy policy, which means you are the sole owner of your actual DNA data. So if you guys want to check out your own ethnicity, your own background, your origins, your family history, all of that fun stuff, I will leave a link in the top of this video's description where you guys can go and check out my heritage for yourself. If you use the code WILLDNA at checkout, then you will actually get free shipping when you buy yourself a My Heritage DNA kit. And as an added bonus, you can actually get a 30-day free trial of My Heritage Best Subscription Service for family history research, and you can also get 50% off if you decide to continue using it. A big thanks to My Heritage for confirming I'm not just bog standard English, and thank you for sponsoring today's video. Time to go into the service station, check it out, see what's going on, and uh, just see what facilities, services, and things they've got inside. One thing I've decided I'm going to do now is for once to try and be a little bit more stealthy than usual is I'm going to spin the van round so that the front of the van where the white blinds are are facing towards the trees because that obviously means it's not as obvious that somebody's staying in here tonight and uh, it should just look a little bit more discreet and far far more stealthy. Ah, oh, that's just so much better. Now the front of the van is, as I said already, just far more hidden away. Oh, you mother fudger. Tonight's dinner, I'm really, really looking forward to because it's something that I've never cooked, ever. I've certainly never cooked it in the van and I've never cooked it in my life in general. We've got a bottle of wine, not to drink, unfortunately. Maybe a sip or two, but really for some flavor. We've got some muscle up bleach. That obviously isn't to drink. That's because my sink and uh, drainage absolutely stinks. So I wanted to try and get rid of the smells. We've got some fennel seeds. We've got one onion. We've got some pork sausages. We've got some linguine. We've got some mixed herbs, a measuring jug, and some cream, because I'm basically gonna be cooking up a sausage Italian linguine dish. First things first, simply finely dice the white onion. Oh God, why have I... I'm getting onion everywhere. Oh, why have I done it like this? Ah, I'm crying. Ah. ah, that's strong. The next job is something rather erotic, depending on how dirty-minded you are. I need to squeeze out the sausage of the actual skin that it sits in. And then we're gonna mash it up and uh, basically have some sort of pork sausage mince. Squeeze out the sausage, oh God. How did she make this look so easy? Oh my God, it goes all over your bloody fingers. How are you meant to squeeze it out then? Oh God, this just looks horrible, doesn't it? I might have to censor this bit. There's gonna be people with their hands down their pants watching this. The sausage meat is all squeezed out of its skin, so we're just left with the actual meat. Time to get the pan on, add some oil, add the sausage in, fry it up, baby. Oh no, don't say I'm out of gas again. What the hell? 
I can't be out of gas. No. I can't be out of gas. I know I'm not out of gas. You're joking. Why every time I come out in the van and film something, something goes wrong? Is it because the gas could be too cold? Could that be a thing? Oh my God. There is gas in that 100%. What's going on? Why is that gas not coming out? Not today. Not today, please. Not today. I literally got a new gas tank about a month ago. I can't even hear it coming through though. That's the thing. Oh, why? Fuck's sake, man. Why? Can gas get too cold that it doesn't ignite? The gas might not have ignited, but I just have. It's this squatting position. It does things to a human body, I'm telling you. Luckily, about a month ago, when I did run out of gas, which I can confirm I absolutely have not run out of gas, I bought a Van Gogh induction hob as a backup. And, uh, well, just if this exact situation happened again, it's an induction hob, which means I can still do some cooking, still cook my sausage meat, and make this pasta dish. So uh, we'll plug that in and we'll have to use induction for the time being. God almighty, I can't lie to you, this does not smell nice. It literally smells like dog food. Not changing at all apart from burning the bottom of my pan. You're meant to put garlic in it, but to be honest, I'm over it now. I can't be bothered to chop garlic either. Honestly, stop beeping at me. What are you beeping for? For what reason? It's on there. We're now gonna go in with some wine to give a bit of oomph and flavor. How much wine do I need? We're just gonna freehand it. Not bad. Ah, one chicken stock cube in. For some reason, I've got no electricity. My induction hob has stopped working. The heater automatically turned off. The light started flickering. And obviously I've got no gas. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now I've got a bloody error message on the under voltage i've got no heater i've got no gas and i've got no electrical power to provide any heat to help me cook to keep me warm this is a nightmare and tonight is two degrees it's bloody freezing outside it was warm in here when the heater was working but now everything's shut off what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start the van up just to give it some juice. Hopefully that will charge up the battery for a bit. <sighs> I'm a genius because I've now put the diesel heater blowing warm air onto the gas tank because the engine is running, which means the alternator is now giving my lithium battery power, which means the diesel heater can run to heat up the, the uh, bloody thing. I'm going mad now, I'm going absolutely mad. I'm forgetting what's what's what. Anyway, I've got gas. I honestly cannot tell you what has gone on tonight. I just don't know. My van is cursed today for some reason. At least it means I can now hopefully, with the diesel heater warming up the gas tank. Oh, let's see, why is it? Uh, I'm not getting much gas. The gas is gone again. What's going on with it? I don't get it. What's going on? I got no gas. I got no bloody electric without the engine running. 
I've just plugged stuff back in to try again. Induction hobby's working for the time being. The heater is on and the lights aren't flickering, so yeah. I'm gonna get this meal cooked, attempt to anyway. I really hope nothing else goes wrong. Well, after some absolute chaos, honestly, it looks and smells delicious. It's now 10 o'clock at night. As I said, I started cooking this over two and a half hours ago. With all of the problems that have happened this evening, I'm looking forward to just getting this in my belly and just uh, heading off to bed. And hopefully, fingers crossed, the uh, heater stays on because I'm definitely gonna need it tonight. Wow, we were, that is honestly, I'm not joking you, sublime. That is so good. The best meal I've cooked in here. And honestly, if everything was working the way it should have been, it shouldn't have taken me more than half an hour. And it's such a simple, easy recipe. About six different ingredients, wow. I'm gonna be cooking this one again for sure. I've got no electricity at all. Not even my lights will turn on. My heater turned off after about half an hour after I got into bed. So I've been cocooned under the duvet, trying to sleep all night. Oh, it's bloody freezing. Oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's flipping cold. Oh my God. <sighs> Don't say this is out of bloody battery as well. Oh no! Why is everything out of battery? Usually I like to wake up and say, that was a successful night stealth camping. However, as you can see, it definitely wasn't. It is freezing cold out last night. It was that cold this morning in bed. I completely underestimated the value of a heater, especially now these winter temperatures have dropped. There are people coming in and out of the service station, coming for food, coming for a hot drink, coming to refuel and lorries coming in and out to rest up for the day. I feel like I've got too many problems and too many issues on the van to stay here any longer. This service station has cursed my van, so I'm gonna head on straight out of here. Sorry for the chaos, the absolute madness, which was last night, but thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, all that jazz. I'm getting out of here. Catch you in the next video.